How are we, everyone? We're back. Chat and Pony with Paddy the Baddy, episode 15. So, just want to give a shout out to my sponsor, as always. Look at, look at my man absolutely flexing it there. Flexing um, the flux. <laughs> flexing the flux. Flux active way. Um, by the time this goes out, the website will be live. So, everyone get over there and have a look at the website. Um, I, I've tagged a few things on my Instagram, so yours will be on them. Yours will be on them. But, <laughs> let's say... Uh, Introduce me guest. We have the marvellous Jamie Webster. Introduce yourself, lad. What's happening, everyone? Uh, yeah, Jamie Webster here. If you don't know me, obviously a lot of these are fight fans and stuff. I'm a musician. Do a lot of stuff with Liverpool Football Club and I write and release me own music as well. Done a debut album, come in the top 10. Me second one's on its way out. But more importantly, I'm Paddy's mate. <laughs> lad, that's the best intro anyone's given themselves, you know, that's so right, far, lad, I swear. Of all these episodes, <laughs> lad, that's my, you should this lad. I'm going to have to mention it again, Liam, lad, the other week. Liam, Liam, lad, who a box with, Liam Moon. He, uh, he went to say, and I went, go on, introduce yourself, and he went, my name's Liam Moon, um, I'm a boxer, um, I don't know what to say, Pod. <laughs> lad, it was the funniest thing ever, lad. Lads, I've... And, uh, yeah, play it, lad, play this. Go ahead, let's see it. <laughs> Liam's gonna be fuming at this. Yeah, lads, do you know what though? But you'll you laugh at it. You fuck up on camera, you fuck up, don't you? You know lad, what I mean? But this lad, it's so funny, you know. Because Nathan, even Nathan mentioned it last week. I don't know when Nathan he went. When I said to Nathan, introduce yourself, he went. He said it, and then went. Oh, I just didn't. I just didn't want to do what Liam done. I mean, <laughs> we just had to laugh at our heads off, lad. Yeah, one of introduce lad. yourself first, and the next one introduce yourself. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening, man? Liam? <laughs> Liam, Liam <laughs> yeah. yeah, just. Pretty much fucking. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> He's had a fucking shot. Do you know I'm, what? Right. I'm a six, Do you know what this reminds me of, right? I was the best man at my mate's wedding, right? I, I was a co best man. Yeah. So, like, we done the, the stag to him in Vegas and all that. And he asked us to, you know, me and this lad, his name is Paddy, funny enough, he lives in Tenerife. But, um, so we were the best men. So, when it come to the night before the wedding, we, we all stayed in his house, do you know what I mean? And uh, I didn't even write my speech because. Like I'm like you, Pad. I can talk the ass legs yeah. off the tongue. You don't need yeah. no fucking scripts. Do you know what I mean? Just comes S- out like yeah. as it rolls off the tongue. So all I'd done was make bullet points of funny shit that happened to him when we were kids. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And just literally made bullet points. And the night before, put them into a bit of order. And I was like, I'm just gonna talk. But if I need it, I'll just look back at that. So I had all the speech in my head mapped yeah. out anyway. And this this Paddy was sat there, lad. He was shitting himself all night, going, oh, "Fucking hell, what am I gonna say? I don't know what to do." I said, "Lad, look, if you're nervous." Just say, thanks everyone for being here. Tell the bride she looks lovely. Tell the bride's ma she looks lovely. Tell the br- uh, tell Jay's ma she looks lovely. And tell Jay he looks like a knobhead, you know what I mean? Yeah. I said, and then pass it on to me and I'll do it. So we got up to the fucking, come to the speeches, like in the rooms, <laughs> full. And he was fucking dripping with sweat. You know what, he was shitting yeah. himself that much. And I was just thinking in my head, he's going to fucking bollocks gonna, this up here. Do you know what I mean? So he sat there and he goes... Right, here's the best man, pass him on. And he got the microphone and he just went, uh, uh, yeah, f- thank you, thank you. Uh, 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 and he just looked at me and went, I can't do this, lads. And <laughs> give me the microphone. So I just grabbed it and just went, nice one, Paddy, for fuck all. Go on, <laughs> sit down, lads, you know what I mean? And I started my speech off, then I just fucking, I don't know, and he was fucking wounded all night about it, like, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, that reminded me proper of that. So. You know what, lads? That makes, the day you've just said, that makes me more nervous, you know, like, Thinking about standing on stage and standing in front of someone, or like what you do, lad. Yeah. That makes me more nervous than thinking about having a fight in front of people. Well, Serious, lad, lad. Let me tell you, <laughs> what, <laughs> if I was fucking going in one of them cages with one of those fellas who you fight, lad, I'd feel fucking more nervous than lad. I would going and fight on stage. Not for the pressure, just in case I was going to get my head took off, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, nah, lad, it's, the, the nerves and that going on stage, it's... Something that like you get you get used yeah. to. You know same with, exactly yeah, the same, same with fighting lads. You get used to it. Yeah. Like obviously you have all mad thoughts coming into your head when you're walking out, but you just have to get over it. Same with you yeah. as you're walking out on the stage. You must think, oh, you shit. just got to address the crowd, yeah. lad. Imagine my fucking voice does something weird here, yeah. or imagine this guitar fucking string snaps, yeah, which, <laughs> which it often does. But uh, <laughs> fucking, it's like uh, it's like with the Liverpool stuff now because I've done it for so long. Do you know like all the Liverpool yeah. tunes and that? I sort of know what I'm. What I'm gonna expect when I walk out and play the Liverpool tunes, because, like I say, I've done it all around the fucking world now to massive yeah. crowds and small crowds. So when I walk on the stage, the crowd know what I ex- what to expect, and 
I know what to expect. So the nerves for that, they never really there. But despite Madrid, sixty thousand people, obviously give you a shout out that yeah, day. Yeah, you well, did, lad. And I was sitting on the fence. There. I had <laughs> fucking sixty thousand people in the crowd in front of me. Everyone, yeah. I just seen this blonde head just pop up above everyone and sit on a railing. Lad, it was a big railing, lad. I've seen a few people sitting. And I was like, I need to get up there a bit, me. I need to. And I just got up a bit. And lad, the one I was videoing at like a ninety percent of what was happening. And the one time I went video and you went. Yes, Pad, what's happening, lad? <laughs> I was like, oh, you bastard. Could have had that on vid. 20,000 people. I just spotted your blonde. I came up and I was just like, that's it's gotta Paddy. be him. <laughs> that's Paddy. I'm not, I'm not, not having it that it's not him. But uh, yeah, but now when I go out to play with me band and that, because like, it's a new thing, because obviously since my tunes come out, we had lockdown, so we couldn't really get Yeah. So I am there, like, I went out on the Guild a couple of weeks ago. That's what I was about to say, I am gutted I went there, you know. Well, like, lads, there'll be plenty more. Don't absolutely worry, but, wounded. Uh, I'm wounded as well, lad, but you know what? It was fucking like I was shitting myself going out onto the stage. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. I took a bit of inspiration from you, lads. You know, like, <laughs> honestly, I did because like when I walk out, all the gigs I've done on my own tunes up to date with me band, there's only been about five or six of them. I've sort of walked onto the stage and me birds and a few of my mates have said to me, "You could tell you was nervous there when you first walked on the stage." Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So then I, I you thought like. The week before, before it was, wasn't it? Yeah, the so week I was before. watching watching you walk out onto the stage and just watched how you fucking command the room from like. You walk out and you just fucking let everyone know that you're right up for it and you want to be there just as much as them. So when I walked out onto the stage in the guild the other day, the crowd were, you know, they were fucking ready for me. Yeah. But I just fucking walked out and just beat in the chest and fucking started screaming. So what a bit of you, you know what I mean? Like, as you say, come ahead, let's have it. And the fucking noise levels just rose, lads. Right. And it sorted me out. It is. Just got, lad, you've got to show everyone that you're happy to be there, lad. You're That's happy it. as they are. That's it, lads. They're happy to be there watching you and I'm just as happy as you that I'm in there doing what I'm doing. Well, I say it to young musicians, do you know what I mean? Like, well, like young bands you were coming up on, like, look, if the fucking crowd don't think that you want to be there, they're not going to fucking want to be there themselves or get involved. Yeah. Just, you've got it. You've got to give it. You've got to let everyone know that you think you're the bollocks, even if fucking no one else in the room does. And even if you don't yourself, yeah, but you've, you've got to make let, it look like you exactly, do. Exactly, because it's, it's, otherwise people aren't going to bite into what you're doing. Or, you know, yeah, they're not. You're, you're just, just really not. And the, the good thing about what you've done, and similar to myself, it's, we just, you be yourself, do you know what I mean? You, you, yeah. No filter, you just... You and know, I always you know. say it, lad, that's one of the things I love about when I hear you sing, lad. You don't try and hide your accent. Where a lot of Scouse singers in the past have, these yeah, like, yeah. hid the bit of Scouse in the voice, where... You can't though, like, can you imagine it? Like, imagine, like, if I started, it's like, my biggest pool of support is Liverpool, do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's where, it's where everything, and that's just the same for you, it started at home, didn't yeah, it, Pete? Do you know what I mean? All the scouts just got yeah, behind you, start, yeah. and you rid the wave then, you know what I mean? And if I start, like, after riding the wave of this, like, you know, he's one of us, he's like us, he's working class lad, he's a socialist, he's a fucking, yeah. this, that, the other, and I come out singing, like, fucking The Wanted or something like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Everyone in my own city is just going to see right through me and go, do you know what? Nah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's like that. that's not the Jamie Webster that we've come to know or whatever, do you know what I mean? So, and the good thing about that is as well, I haven't got like a London manager or no one telling me to do that. You know yeah. what I mean? I haven't got a London record label. My label is a Scouse label. My managers are from Liverpool. They've been up and down the charts with yeah, all the successful that. bands in Liverpool. So they know where I'm coming from, what I'm trying to do and who I am. And they let me write my own songs. They never, like, obviously, I'm quite political in, in my music and, and very, like, sort of, for us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I write yeah, songs for us. And there's never been a case where they're like, oh, you need to write a love song for a load of birds. Or, you, need, you know, like, you need, I've written one love song for me bird because I had an unrunning joke with me bird that, like, she'd always say to me, when are you going to write me a song? And this <laughs> before, before I had an album deal, I used to say to her, second album, love, thinking I'm not even going to get a first album deal, do you know what I mean? I'm going to be playing in booze. And you like, had to make one now, Rachel, on yeah, your case. Yeah, you know, Rachel, lad, she wouldn't let me fucking slip with that, would she? You told me that on the second album, I'd be getting yeah. one. So when the second album deal got signed, you she was like, one. yeah, so I've done it and it's, 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 it's ready, you know, it's ready for the Is second Is it going album. on the album? Yeah, it's on yeah, it. Yeah, But I give it a bit of shit in it as well, do you know what I mean? It's not all like, I love it's not you. all hunky-dory. I, I make a little reference towards uh, tattoos that I'm I'm not the biggest fan of, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, man, you know. but nah, it's, you know, what she cried when she heard it, so it's all right, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's good, lad, as, long, it. as long as she was happy with it, lad, that's all that matters. Yeah, but other than that, that one thing and the way that I sort of tell the story, I'm sort of telling the relationship of fucking every 
relationship yeah. that you know what I mean of people our age like what you have with your beard it's a fucking love hate thing you know what yeah, I mean yeah it is it's a best love mates one minute and then your worst enemies the next do you know what I mean and that's sort of what I'm telling in the story but again me management have never said like you need to do this you need to write about drinking champagne and limousines and shit like yeah. that you know what I mean because I don't do that so how could I make it be real and it's like you pads do you know what I mean like that's the, that you're the fucking spot on lad like the realist of the real lad some of the singers that you're in now coming out with stuff you're like and obviously even more so, like rappers, you're like, you've never done that. Yeah. What are you talking about? Well, you know it's, what I mean? It's the Liam Gallagher aspect in it, you know what I mean? Like or, or every singer at some point. I did when I was 16, thought he was Liam Gallagher and wanted to walk around like Liam Gallagher when he was on the stages and that. But then you realise at a certain point, Liam Gallagher does that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, And he's the fucking best at it. And it worked for him. It doesn't work for everybody no, else. You've got, you got to have, have your own, like, style. Your own thing, yeah, yeah. The, the way you do it. Yeah, so obviously you learn that as you grow. I was fucking 15, 16 when I used to sing like that. You know what I mean? And I'd try and like... <laughs> That's what I was about to say. When did you, like, first start singing? Well, get into music, start playing the guitar, start singing. Do you know what? I owe a lot to my ma for the guitar because um, my ma was like... She she wanted to learn an instrument. She tried to learn herself, you know, when she was younger, but she yeah. didn't have the opportunity to get lessons or nothing like that, you know what I mean? So she always said that she wanted to give all her kids the opportunity to to at least try and learn an instrument, yeah. you know what I mean? So I must have been about nine, and eight or nine, she got me a guitar and got me a couple of lessons, and I'm not going to lie, I fucking hated it. You know what I mean? I wanted to play footy in the street, you know what like I mean? Like we all did. wanted to beat yeah. the, cent- the next Michael Owen, Steven Gerrard, like everyone, do you know what I mean? And... Uh, so when I, she said to me, just stick with it until you get to secondary school, and then when you get to secondary school, if you don't like it, swear it, you know what I mean? So I got to 11, left me primary school, and was like, Mum, don't want to do it no more. She was like, all right, sound. But then when I got into secondary school, like I passed an exam and got in a school up in Egbert because my mum didn't want me going to school by ours in Crocky. <laughs> basically cause so what school was you meant to go well it would by by area it probably would have been Crocky Comp or yeah. De La Salle I was going to say De La Salle yeah. but De La Salle at the time had big problems it's not the school that it was now do you yeah. know what I mean it was like there was a big gang culture and my ma just didn't want me to get into that you know what I mean and a couple of my mates who I'd went to primary school with their older brothers had gone to this school that I was going to yeah. up in Egbert and like they were you know nice families and stuff like that so she wanted me to go there with them and because I was quite an intelligent kid I passed the testing and went you there, got in there yeah. do you know what I mean but it was the, probably the biggest blessing in disguise because nearly well there was a big portion of kids in that school it was from the south end a lot of them were into like the Beatles and yeah. music and you know so I sort of stuck I got the lad who plays guitar with me now Danny Murphy it's not the footballer do you yeah. know what I mean but he's an Evertonian actually Danny but uh, like his dad used to play footy with my dad and I got talking to him when we were in like, you know, year seven, eight. Yeah. And he was proper, he's, um, he's, he's a wizard on the guitar, like, do you know what I mean? Like, he can play any anything you want him to, any style, do you know what I mean? He's just, um, like, I can play chords and that and I can write a tune, but like, what he can do with the guitar, like, it's it does, like, level, there's yeah. levels to it, you know yeah. what I mean? And he's at the very top, he's probably one of the best guitarists in the city, do you know what I mean? And he, he got me into like, listening to different t- types of music and, like, got me into, like, Oasis, The Beatles, The Lars, and uh, proper got me into it, though, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, everyone knew Wonderwall and Don't Back in Anger and, you know, certain Beatles songs, but, like, he was listening to it all the time and talking about it and got me dead interested in it. So then, when I started listening to the music, I was like, I want to get that guitar back up, you know, and see if I can still yeah. remember a couple of bits and then remembered a few little bits and taught myself a few chords and it just went off away with it and... And I remember, so in the end, you basically taught yourself. Yeah, all the chords and that I'm self-taught. I was learning like classical grades when I was a kid, and it was like Spanish music. I, yeah. I hated it, you know what I mean. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I'd say I'm pretty much self-taught. I was taught a, a little bit just before I left on how to play chords, but everything else I've picked up off the internet and YouTube and yeah. shit. You know what I mean? But the singing was one of them where. I think it's because I used to go to match and fucking sing me head off as loud as I could every week. I developed a loud voice. Do you know what I mean? My voice just got loud because when I. St- Got into school and there was like a guitar teacher in my secondary school and he was he's played in big bands and I used to sit there on my dinner with Danny and him and we'd just play the guitars and piss about. Yeah, nice. And that. he used to tell me about your voice and he'd say it's like a bicep, you know what I mean? He's like if you train yeah, it. The more it, you use it, obviously the stronger it, it gets, gets doesn't better. it? So then that was me then lad in the shower morning and night, you know what I mean? Just trying to sing songs that I liked and if I had my headphones in, I just belt it out. So when it comes to playing on the guitar, I just got my range got better and better and it just I, I'm a better singer today. Probably than I was when I was 17, when my balls were a bit higher up my yeah. chest and shit like that, you know what I mean? I do, you said that singing in the shower. Like, people must look at me like I'm a weirdo when I'm jogging, you know? 
Do you sing like, along, when lad? I'm jogging, lad, I <laughs> sing full songs. Is it right, lad? I don't, to be fair, though, lad, I don't think heavy... anyone would make a comment. Lads, yeah. <laughs> I've, 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 I've remember, I, I can remember I'd done a proper long one, lad. It was like a, ten, a 12 mile, and I just I put your album on repeat, and I just listened to it twice, ran through. It was when it first came out, the first yes. one, oh, yeah, lo- half, half through lockdown. But, lad, I must be j- jog past people and, like, <laughs> kick in the door, wave in the 4-4. Or people looking at me like that. Like, Big Papa won't hear me no more. And I'm just jogging down the road like that, lad. I swear to God. Me, uh, had, me ma's, one of my ma's best mates, Susan, lad, seeing me jogging through the swan the other week. And uh, she went, you were doing all this with your hands? I was like, well, like I can't, I'm just singing and going, like me. You know what I mean? Singing all my shit. You funny enough, lad? Like, before I knew you, before I, like, like, I'd seen you in parties. Yeah, before we were mates, though. I've seen you in parties and, like, whatever, do you know what I mean, down the years. And, like, we've got mutual mates, haven't we, yeah. do you know what I mean? But before I physically, like, made mates with you yeah. properly, me and me mate were coming back from the gym in Weston, you know, the village. Yeah, yeah, the we village. We were coming down, uh, like, Bowen Park Road. And we see, it was fucking lashing down, lads. And seeing this kid running in a Charlie's chance hoodie. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And you're doing all this with your hands. And, like, once we got to you... You're like, fucking hell, it's Paddy, you know what I mean? We give you a little beep and you obviously didn't realise, just fucking put your thumb up. But now I thought you would, you would shadow boxing, but now after saying that, yeah, lad, you could have been I might, I could have been, lad, couldn't you? know what I mean? Like, you know sometimes I, mean? I will just do that as I'm, as I'm running, but lad, nine times out of ten, I, I'm like that, rapping to myself. <laughs> just skeptic. singing, yeah, singing, yeah. skeptic, and gigs and Dave and that, just running down the road, lad, and mix. <laughs> so, it's, it's mad, done. lad, I'm, I'm bad for it. You know what, I was nicked for doing that by uh, the fella who runs Trans Alpino, old jockey. <laughs> um, buy me birds you know by Everton Park yeah, there. Yeah. I used to go for walks in the morning the lockdowns to get out the house and it was where I just got my album back like before it had come out so I was listening so you back. were listening to it all the time because like, like there was a couple of tunes where the drums were fucking I was made up with how the drums sounded and I was and fucking, doing I that? was doing air drumming yeah, yeah it was like fucking walking and then I just did just seeing someone point at me and I took any jockey. He was like, What are you doing there, lad? You're learning to be a drummer. I was like, Oh, no. Nah. She's got my album back. I'm fucking buzzing with it, lad. Do you know what I mean? I'm even bad with dance tunes. I'd like say I'm just jogging and then like Lidl Industry comes on. I'll be going, Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Dun. With me hand. And people look at me, What the fuck's he doing? Start fronting trees and Yeah, lad. Like, <laughs> heads will roll comes on. I just start marching like that. You know what I mean? Or people are like, Wow, well, this, this kid's a weirdo. What? Who's he? Yeah. Again, no lad, once they found out who it was, I don't think they'd be saying too much to you. Nah, lads. people just see the hair lad and just think, who's that guy? Yeah. Who is that guy? And then they get close <laughs> enough and they're like, it's fucking paddy. Like I was saying to you the other day, lads, you, you, with me, I can half blend it. There's a million kids walking around with a bit of a bowl head, you know what I mean? With, with, a, with, with, with a bit of a fucking brown bowl head, lad. But someone the big like, blonde one. You're tall, you're very distinctive, lad, you know what I mean? You've fucking got no chance, lad. I'd swear when I've been going no the chance. match. The last, like, I went to the, the, pa- the Palace game and the AC Milan game. But luckily enough, I was in, like, the hospital. No, we get to sit down and get a meal, and I was in that. So I was getting the ground, like, an hour and a half early. And, lad, I was still getting bombarded lad, for photos, lad. It was it's mad. Like, it's got to get the more it's got, it's got, Yeah, it is. It's going to get worse and worse, but... What I like about you, though, lads, you know what? Like, I always say this to people who don't know yet, do you know what I mean? Because, like, you see, like, with you, you see, like, you've, like some people who don't know you or who've never met you, all they see is like the interviews and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, a lot like of people that. think I'm a cocky bastard, lad, you yeah. know what I mean? No, but not even that. They're just like, oh, is he fucking, is he mad him? You know what I mean? Is he like, is he fucking like dead? And I'm like, lad, do you know what? Like, <laughs> he is the fucking most chilled out kid, you know, when you just like sat with him and anyone who speaks to him, fucking anyone. And I've seen people off the cakes chewing your ear off, telling you what you need to do next <laughs> in your career. I've been stood there in Munich with him in Bayern yeah. Munich and I felt like I felt like grabbing the company self by the neck, you know what I mean? And saying, fucking leave him alone. And the fucking patience you've got, lads, to, just to like, to, and, and lads, you just so, the, the way you give people your time and that, lads, do you know what I mean? Like, that's just us though, lad. I've watched you do the exact same yeah, thing. Yeah, I know, but that's, lads. That's scousers, well, proper scousers for you, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Not, Divvies, yeah, no, trying after goat. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's proper scouts for you. We're nice people, lad. We'll have, we'll give anyone our time, lad, who is nice enough to us. You know what I mean? Yeah, not that. Like, can you I, remember though in Munich? Can you remember that kid fronted you when you were on the phone to your dad? Yeah. She got it so like. And that lad, know what? I don't think I've ever spoke about that story either as well. You know, yeah, we, were co- uh, we were coming out to <laughs> Bayern's ground, were not we? The Allianz. Oh, lads. And I've been on the phone to my dad. Like, dad, dad, that was unbelievable. We've just battered by in 3 1, blah, blah, this and that. We slapped them, you said, didn't you? We slapped them in their own we, backyard. Well, we slapped them, dad, in their own backyard. And this fella turned and looked at me and proper snarled me. And I went, 
I'm like, no, that's me, Adam. And he's, I'm sure he said something he's like saying, you're in Germany. He was saying, don't speak like that. Don't speak you're, like that. You're, you're in Germany. You're in Germany. Uh, we, we'll show you we get slapped or something like that. He said, yeah, that's what he said. And I just uh, went, so I, I grabbed my phone, typed it to me, and went to my dad, yeah, dad, we've just absolutely terrorized these. These are <laughs> shite. They're proper shite. You know what I mean? Because I was a bit away from you at the time. It was only about 10 steps away. Yeah. But I was a little bit away from you. <laughs> so I just went, we terrorized them, dad. They're shite. As I looked at this fella, and like he half grabbed his mate and went like that. And I've just like went, go, what, dad? Man, I have to go. And I've just stood there looking at him like that as if to say, do something, do something. I walked do something. over to them and, and you just, walked I over. I said, lads, boys, you do not know what you're about <laughs> to get yourself in for. Do you know what I mean? I was like, I am trying to be like fucking dead friendly with you, see, lads, because in a minute, like, you're going to be fucking proper, proper sorry. And you're going, I won't be sorry. I won't be sorry. I was saying, lad, I, did, I didn't want to say... And I could, I could hear them saying that, though. I, I won't be sorry. And yeah. I went, what? I was just going, what? I, lad, I can't help myself when it gets to that point. It's like, you, you fucking do something then. Do something. <laughs> like, it's the way it's think, when people talk, yeah, lad, but don't but I do think nothing. The, I think, the, like, a, a little bit of a, a crowd of my mates gathered and, like... Yeah, like Billy we, and that. Yeah, we were laughing, though. We were laughing at them as if to say, like what the fuck are you doing like do you just know what like like you, please just like for your own safety lads swear and I think they sort of picked up that like it, it wasn't a normal reaction for people like to be yeah. like you know instead of us all going what 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 who the fuck are you talking we were like for Paddy's fucking sake because you know what I mean if this gets out he's fucking you know yeah, what I mean yeah lad would have been but obviously I'd, I'd, I'd never ever punch anyone first though no like, no obviously, obviously the only way not. I'd ever hit anyone is if they swung for me but it looked like that he it was looked like he was going to try it, it yeah. yeah but and like that, 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 that wasn't a proper representation of Munich fans though lad, no the rest of them were sound they, they, they were, were, boss, lad. They they were, were some boss. of the soundest fucking fans like opposition fans yeah. I have ever come across like that Al fellow when we were getting off the bus I remember him saying or we were getting off the train or whatever we got on he was, he was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, yeah, yeah, you will win it this year. That's what he said to me. Yeah. He went, you will win it this year. You were the only team I was scared of. You were going to win it this year. And then we did. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> he was on it, lad. He was on it. Sick game as well, wasn't he? Lad, that's possibly, I know it was, it was in Madrid and that, but lad, that's possibly my favourite ever away game. Yeah, it was boss, lad. We had the day in boss night and that before it, didn't we? That, lad, that, that the, the performance, lad, when he yeah. stepped, and then coming out of the stadium, eh, uh, the Bobby Firmino song, yeah, lad. it was sick. Wasn't lad, it? everyone just going sick, lad, singing that song. There's videos of that everywhere still, lad, on all yeah. mad Instagrams and that. And then you had to buy fucking four meals from the Mackies, then, didn't yeah. you? Lads? Did, yeah, I no, no that, surprise. That was all. the most I've seen him fight now, do you know what I mean? On the telly and that, but that is one of the most impressive things I've ever seen him do. He put that fucking scrant to bed, honest to god. That McRib was, was shite, yeah. You got a McRib, and he I got a McRib and weren't happy with it. <laughs> I think I finished someone else's scrant off because I weren't happy with the McRib because it was shite. Lad, it was like I had a bite and went, I think I gave you a bite and went, lad, have a bite of that. Yeah, and then I had another bite, bite and was like, lad, that's shit, innit? And we were like, yeah. But I think I got like a quarter pound. Or well, lad, I went to Mackey's yesterday. As I was saying, was out on Sunday and my bird. My bird just headlocks me and keeps me out. We ended up not... Seen me, it. me, me, bird and Molly got in at like five in the morning shit. on Monday. And then we got up yesterday about half one. And lad, we were getting picked up by BT, me and Molly, a quarter three. Did you <laughs> stay had, in yours, Yes, yeah, stayed in ours. Yeah. We had to go, when we went and got a Mackey's, lad, I got a large quarter pound of meal. <laughs> but give me bird the chips. And I got a large, we seen them smokehouse burger meals, nah. the chicken, bacon and cheese Decent. on. So I ate both them burgers, me chips, and then 10 nuggets. And lad, I, I was still know. hungry. I don't know how you do it, lad. Lad, I, I was mean, still hungry, lad. I'm one of those people, me, who's got like a fucking proper weak stomach, just a stomach of like a fucking three-year-old baby or something like that you know what I mean I just well, lad. I, I get hungry eat a bit of food and then I'm full and then half an hour later I'll get hungry again eat a little bit of food and then I'm full I'm just honestly and like sometimes if you eat a certain if I eat fucking Chinese after a certain time after nine o'clock my stomach just cripples all through the night honestly I feel like I'm about 75 sometimes you know what I mean lad. but like being with Paddy like he fucking eats and like a few times I think that was on the, the Germany trip, first trip we've been on. You yeah, it was. finished my pizza for me in the day and then you probably finished my Mackey's for me as yeah, well. Yeah, I night. did. Yeah, but it's frustrating, no, because I like food. Do you know what I mean? And seeing how much he fucking See, I he that's what I mean. It. I wish I was like you, though, where I could have a little bit and then <laughs> and be, be full. full. Yeah. But, lad, lad I just you don't get bodies, I wish we could, game. lad. I wish we could, lad. I'd be game for that. Lad, I went to Gusto last week. I've just been telling Sarge then when he come and see me with my bird, lad. 
my mate's brother works there, so we just come over with starters straight away. Lad, sorry, lad. That kid called Jay Sargent. Yeah, yeah. Lad, I used to play footy against him. He went to SFX and that, didn't yeah, he? Yeah. Lad, I'm on him. I used to play footy against him in primary school. That's fucking mad, Yeah, he went, to the, he went to Vent, went to the school, same school as him, Vent, yeah. went to SFX. And he went to Christ. I'm sure he went to fucking Christ the King primary school, you know. I'm sure that's him. I remember his name. Played against him all my life. He probably yeah. won't remember me. He was decent. I was a bit shit. Nah, do you know what I mean? What do you mean? He won't remember you. Of course he'll remember you, not, lad. Not back then, lad. Mad man. <laughs> No way. He won't remember yeah, me for playing footy. I can footy. remember you with a skinhead. Like yeah, <laughs> You probably can't me. remember me with one. I, I haven't I, had I, a skinhead you, since I was about 18. You know what, lad? You come to my 18th in in the Brody. Yeah. You did. And I remember someone saying, I didn't know you. you know, I'd heard yeah. your name because you were this like up-and-coming cage fighter. And I had a proper I mean? nutted. Yeah, I had a nutted. And it, you was with Chris Farley and that at the time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and uh, Jack. Me yeah, mate Jack, Jack and yeah. Josh. Yeah. And I remember someone saying to me, there's that Paddy Pimlet over there, you know, he's going to be like a fucking big, big cage fight. And I was like, is he here yeah, fucking hell? What's he doing here? And that? You know what I mean? Like, for, not in a bad way, because it was just, you know, what it was like 18s yeah, back lad, in the day. When something lad, an 18 back crashed. in the day, lad, anyone would just land there, lad. And you'd want them to, because you'd want your 18 yeah, you to look like it was to be kicking. a belter. Yeah. yeah. So I was, it was like, like, They were always know. either in that broad day or the Regency. Yeah, the remember Regency the Regency, was good, lad, yeah. was fun. That's gone now. My best mate moved into a flat there. And I was like... Where, where this flat was, I was like, fucking hell, we've done some sussy stuff right yeah. here. Just, just in here. Just, just in there. There's some madness has went yeah. on in here where we're stood right now, but yeah. it just looks a lot different. Yeah, not half, but yeah, fucking the Regency, man. All them places, in there. There's the Sylvestian still there, isn't he? But is the Brody still there, isn't it? Still yeah, there, it's the still there. Club. Yeah. The sil- lad, the Sylvestian and that. Just... Some of the best times of my life in them back gaffs, lads, you know what I mean? Rough though, weren't they, They were rough as fuck, lads. Lad, lad we'd turn up at places like that, me and Sam and Jack and that, and be like, just make sure we don't get stabbed, boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah just fucking... We turn up at gaffs like that and just be like, yeah, just, just make sure, lad, that we don't cross the wrong person, lad. Yeah, I'm See, trying to think of the one by ours, lad. The What's... thing was with you as well, I suppose, when you were younger, lad, because you had a reputation for being a bit of an hard case. Kids probably wanted to prove themselves a little bit with yeah, fighting but... you. Do you know what I mean? I th- that, as I say, now the thing I just worry about, lad, is getting stabbed. Yeah, well, just a little. That's shit right. Houses everywhere that's what now, I mean, lad, like, because I know for a fact nowadays, lad. No one's gonna fight with me. No, you know no, I mean? no one will. But, no one will fight no with me. No one in the right mind would, lad. Do you know what I mean? So if anyone starts on me, lad, I'm, someone's gonna try and stab but, me. Yeah, they're gonna you know have to mean? do something. So if, they, have... if they're gonna pick a fight with you, they're gonna have yeah. to have something that's gonna oh, that's give them right, leverage. Like... But nah, lad, you're, you're on it now, lad. Do you know what I mean? You fucking, you, you handle yourself fucking boss in, in public and that. No, I don't think anyone would even. You're such a likable kid now, and like you're on just such a fucking good. Be a lad. There's been a few <laughs> funny lads, you know, like some in the past, lad. So. Can you go, can you go bang me? And I'm just like, lad, go away. Of course, lads. Yeah. You know what I mean? Of just course. Just like I've had a few kids say that to me, like not recently, over the past few years. Oh, can you go bang me? Uh, I remember you... outside Rodney Street, lad. Some kid kept trying to fucking headlock me. I was like, lad, go away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Kept like trying to do that, and I was like, lad, go away. And in the end, I had to like push him and just say, lad, don't. Know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah. you're starting to annoy me now. Yeah, and that's the thing as well, I suppose, with you because you're such a, like an approachable person. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. People, like, f- feel like that they, that they know you already. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So people, like, when he comes here, like, like my mate in Glasgow that time when he fucking screamed in oh, your face, M. Ray Chan. Chan. M. Ray Chan. M. Ray Chan's the we, man, lad. It wasn't that M. Ray Chan's not my mate, by no, the way. No, it's, it's not the actual <laughs> M. Ray Chan. <laughs> but, but yeah. lad, he's the spitting image of M. Ray Chan, lad. <laughs> You'll be have, fucking lad, gutted, do you know what? Is there any pictures on your Insta of him? Yeah, I'll get one for that you, lad. get it up now, lad. We need to find M. Ray, lad, you know. Lad, I yeah, still don't, there is, there is. I still don't know his proper name. Liam Wilson is Liam Wilson. Liam Wilson. You'll be fucking gutted. <laughs> but uh, you go on my Insta, yeah, and uh, it's like right down. It's like well before all the music stuff. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> lad, you look like a different person on that, you know. Lad, you look like a proper different person. You know, look like a scouser there, don't you, lad? You know what I mean? But lad, M. Ray Chan there, man. He is... M. Ray Chan's like, on these, lads. For, like, just for Wilson, that he is like the quietest kid in the world, right? <laughs> but this one day, we was in Glasgow, and like I didn't even know Paddy, like, really at all. But I knew who he was, and he, he, he might have knew who I was at that point, but I knew some of his mates more. And fucking, it was John the Jab, who was stood next yeah, to you, yeah. who I'd known. And uh, we were like, we were all in the we were going from shangri to Stone to the, Circle. Yeah, to the circle. And everyone was like sardines because it was the yeah. last night like of the that, festival. Like, and, like, up to the, we to were getting moved, weren't stones, we? We yeah. were getting carried, basically. And like my mates realised that Paddy's like behind them, but obviously my mates had fucking had a good few bevies and that and he wasn't himself. And uh, he turned around and was like, 
I first he's just like acknowledged the Paddy's there and Paddy's face is here. And then he just turns around out of nowhere about three minutes later. Yes, the Paddy. Do you know what Dad, I mean? And I was like, oh was my God, comedy. please, lads. It was just, and you were like, and John the was like, yo, lad, tell your mate to chill out there. Yeah, <laughs> you know what he said? No. I was just like, yes, lad, what's happening? And then the other mate, Sharp, he just grabbed his head and pushed it forward and was like, come ahead, lad. Do you know what I mean? Let's go. Well, lad, he never, like, he never lives that down. Yeah, he lived it down. Lad, whenever lad. I see him, it's the first thing that we say to him. Yeah, man, lad, no I think what, goes, lad. Do you know what? I think he probably, when he'll see you, he'll think of that every time he sees you. Because he's one of them people, like, he will have been fucking mortified at that the next day. The next day we didn't remember it. Him. We had to tell him. And he was like, no, nah, never. We were like, lad, you basically <laughs> offered him out. You know what I mean? And you then, fucking... though, what, though it's funny, like, the next time I was seeing him, he probably, like, looked at me and thought, let's see if he says it. And I go, Yes, Henry, yeah, what's happening? He's like, oh, you yeah. bastard. Yeah. It's happened. It's we were happened. in a bully, weren't we? And he was sat there quiet and he just went, we like this, Henry Chan there. And he was like, oh, you know what I mean? But he's he's a cracking lad, Wilson. He's one of the, do you know what? You talk about lads, right? He's genuinely, besides that incident, right? You talk about like, you know, if you had a daughter, yeah. And the type of lad that you'd want your daughter to bring he home. He is the type of he's person. He's that type of lad, yeah. do you know what I mean? He's a fucking legend, but uh, yeah. He had a bit of a mad one there at Glastow, and yeah, I suppose he does look a bit like Henry Chan, but... Lad, he does. Like, that picture doesn't even really do it, it that much do it justice, no justice, lad. Just, lad. It but... doesn't, lad. That picture doesn't do him that much justice. Yeah. He is the fucking <laughs> undies of Henry Chan, lad. Lad. He's, you don't understand that much. don't understand that much. He's understand understand that much. Like this, he looks know? like him, lad. Uh, like, it's even worse for him now as well, because Henry Chan is a rat. Emery yeah. Chan dog the lads, know what I mean? Yeah. You're not a rat, Louis. Wilson, you're going to have to change how you look, lad. It's that simple. You're going to have to dye your hair or grow it, lad. <laughs> Swan or the Go other. Go Phil Folden, lad. <laughs> Everyone else is. You know what I mean? But yeah. Fuck that, lad. Phil yeah, Folden. And fuck City. Bums. Lad, have you seen, how, have you seen the picture of the team? Like, the, how much both teams cost tonight? Seen something. It's the most expensive game of football. Because... Man, Man City squad's worth one thousand and five million, and PSG's squad is worth nine hundred and ninety-seven million, or something like that. And you're just like, what? How can you even? How are you meant to compete with that? Well, just, you look at you look at like that's the man thing about football. Like, you look at City's wingers that they've got to, to bring on. They've got Grealish, Foden, Mares, and Sterling. Now. I'm not being funny. Every one of those players would get into it. Every other team, yeah. Every other, every other top five, yeah. every other top six team, they would get him. Yeah, besides, they wouldn't get. I don't genuinely, obviously, because we have Salah and Mane. Yeah, because Salah and Mane just get in our starting lineup every week, but they definitely be in contention. There it is. Look, look at that lad. Yeah. One point five billion. One point five billion. Then, look, I was right. Nine hundred ninety-seven million, lad. That is just. So how can you do it? Like, do you know lad, what I mean? you could fucking cure world hunger with that sort of money, lad. lad. What the fuck? It's mad, isn't it? But the, the worst thing, the maddest thing about that is, lad, fucking, it's 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 becoming the norm now. Yeah, it teams, is. teams are trying to find that in order to be successful. Do you know what I mean? How many fucking, you look at the teams in the Premier League, you know what I mean? Who just, like United, the money that they have spent yeah. on shite. And haven't won, no. Yeah, and I've, I mean, don't get me wrong, Ronaldo was a big, big thing. He's someone who, even if you are playing shite, he can, he can win your games, do you I know still, lad, I'll be honest, they are still fourth in my top four predictions. Like, Yeah, I mean, I can't see them coming above I us. I think Chelsea, Chelsea are going to drop off as yeah, well. Yeah, but I, I still, I, I mean, at this moment in time, I think Chelsea look like our biggest, biggest rivals, to be honest, even despite the City results. I still think that Chelsea are the, probably the most compact team. I think you're probably... They're the best defensive side. Yeah. Well, they play fucking eight defenders, don't they? I know, you know it's what I mean? mad, lad. But, like, I think, realistically, it's going to be between us, City and Chelsea, if... I think towards the end, to be honest, lad, it's going to go back to a two-horse race. Yeah. Like, like it was I a mean, few years ago. I'd rather it be that. I know what? I want it to be that. And us to win the league by a fucking point. Yeah, like we... Got, like they yeah, done yeah, to us, lad. That's what I want it to be. I want it to go yeah. to the last game of the season. And even if... I, I hope we win it on goal difference, lad. Never mind the points. Yeah. Just so we can rub it in like, even more, lad. Like, like we need to score one more goal to win the league. And we score in the 98th uh, yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah. And it's a fucking pen. That shouldn't have got given to us. But va give us it. Yeah. <laughs> Then everyone would fucking hate us, wouldn't you? You rats. They already, fuck, uh, they already fucking do. They do. Everyone bro. hates us, lad. When, like, we're the only team what doesn't spend crazy amounts of money. Like, no, if Tottenham were in the position we're in, or Leicester, everyone would love them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, 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 they had the manager like well, Tottenham, Tottenham last year were our biggest Premier League 
second titles in November. Everyone yeah, was talking November, about Tottenham. December, we're going to yeah, win the league. Weren't they? Do you November, know what I mean? Yeah, them at, at yeah, yeah. And we won in the end, and we three two. What was it? Three nil. It was three two or two one. I yeah. think. Yeah, three two or two one. And uh, yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Like it was just like it, it's it's one of them. But we won't even get tied down with that because you know what? We know the score, don't we? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And like at the end of the day, it's better. I think it's better when people have more of a dislike towards you when you do win stuff because it's more fucking unbearable yeah. for them to see us <laughs> do it you know like the unbearable to be fair like that's where I've that's where probably my shortcomings have been where fucking obviously I've done boss with the Liverpool fans but for fucking 18 months every other football fan was seeing me fucking at finals and fucking yeah. celebrations singing Liverpool songs singing Liverpool songs that, that's what I don't understand that it shows you how bitter some Evertonians are like, I've seen Evertonians on Twitter slating you you know I, like, I, I, I see like it myself. saying I won't buy his album just yeah. because he sings Liverpool songs yeah. and you're like, what? It, it's something different in it, you know what I mean? I mean, t- ah, that's... Like, when I read that, though, I was like, I, I won't buy this this, this red cunt, yeah, this red album because he because he sings Liverpool. And you're like, it's a completely different thing. Why yeah. are you going on? Why and the worst that- thing is, the songs that I'm writing on my albums are songs are for people city. like them. Yeah, for people who city. live normal fucking lives like them, do you know what I mean? And like, if if... If like if more people like them got behind it, who knows where it could It'd go? Be even bigger. And who knows? Like once you get that massive, massive platform where the whole fucking city, like you get a lot, where the whole city stands behind you, like like you know, like everyone's like it with Molly as well because it's it's like a US, it's a separate sport, so yeah. no one seems to bring your football into it too much. Do you know what I mean? You'll get the odd knobheads like you do everywhere. But I like, like if if people like that, it would so, like just realised. I'm gonna be singing songs by fucking. Tories being Tories, Tories yeah. being gobshites about fucking working on a building site and trying to fucking escape by going to the boozer every weekend like what fucking everybody does yeah. do you know what I mean what everyone on yeah. site does I'm singing songs about you for you and to, to change things for you as well and if everyone got behind I, I'll it I'll be honest lad, some, my mates are bitter cunts lad but even my mates aren't that bitter like, yeah I know well lad my best mate my very best mates well like not me I've got a lot of very good, good mates yeah, but one, mates. one of those yeah. very very best mates is 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 the bit the bitterest? I've never seen him in red. He wore something that looked like it was red once, and he showed us the label well, and I've, said I've, crimson I've, orange. I met him at the thing, yeah, didn't Brady, I? Yeah, Brady, Brady, Crim, the... crimson orange. He had blue Father Christmases on his trees, blue tomato sauce when that was fucking knocking about. Honestly, the whole house has never had a red item in it, and I'm not I'm not joking. And like he fuck like he fucking hates Liverpool Football Club. Do you know what I mean? And that's fucking sound, but the same, but like. He's my biggest fucking supporter when yeah. it comes to my own stuff. And I'm not even talking like, I mean, like, literally, like, texting me, asking if I've written new tunes. You know, like, really, like, I've got mates who are He's fucking supported. Like, he fucking loves, you know what I mean? He lives and breathes what I do. Like, he fucking loves it. And, like, his, his family and his, like, people around him, they are the biggest Evertonians. You could that you couldn't find more Everton people if you fucking tried. Yeah. They haven't been to a game since Benitez has took over, do you know what I mean? Because they fucking hate they Liverpool. Haven't? No, because wow. they hate Liverpool. They bought the season ticket, but they boycotted going because they're not going to support him, do you know what I mean? And he didn't want to give the season ticket. <laughs> they so. are fanatical. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, so fanatical. you can't get more Everton or fucking bitter than that. And these people fucking, you know what I mean? I'm invited to the fucking weddings, I fucking go to family parties yeah. with them, I've been on holidays with them, do you know what I mean? I fucking play footy with them every week, do you know what I mean? Like, and they support me music, they come and see me at the gigs, they listen to they buy the fucking albums. So, like, I, I just, you know, it, the only thing that's going to change it is time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and the more the more the people once I get gigging, because I know look, I'm not the best singer in the world when it comes to playing the guitar. No, I'm, not, lad, I'm not the greatest. But when I you put heavy. like you put me in a room with people, lad, I'll fucking entertain them. I'll have them back. Like, the, the, the first boss light I went to was Munich yeah. when we were there, and I was just stood at the side of the stage going, This is fucking unbelievable. That's, yeah, that's what I am. I'm an entertainer, yeah. do you know what I mean? So more the fucking people see me out on tour, see what's going on in them rooms and them gigs. The more people will be more inclined to go, oh, do you know what? I might have to give That's this. That's why I'm glad I'm so wounded. I went there last week at that guild, you know, like I'm all the you... other week, sorry, two weeks ago now. Ah, that was proper wounded. I said to me, bird, Jamie's on on Saturday. Got w- Sound City on Saturday y- night, lads. You would have booked Come on, more, wouldn't you? Lad, I've just been talking about, about that on my bed. Where is it? Because it says different venues. It's in Sound Grand Central, lads. In Grand Central, is that where yeah, it is? Go and get you out on the stage, lads. Because, um, no, I'll come to that on Saturday, lads. Yeah, get out Therefore, on the stage, though. Because my bed wants to go for a scram before it. Yeah. Um, I'll get you both in. Defo, I'll, I'll be there, lad. I fucking... Uh, yeah, I'll sort it. has been doing my head in the fact that I haven't seen you live yeah. still, lad. Like, doing your own tunes. I need nah. to see you, lad. Yeah, well, it's Sand City Festival, so 
Do you be fucking buzzing to have you there? To be honest with you, lad, no, they would be, lad. So, I'll, uh... Well, lad, I think Molly might even come as well, Molly's lad. You know, Molly, Molly, look, Molly Molly's part you. of my show now. Molly's fucking... <laughs> Molly yeah, on stage is fucking that. boss, Molly. Molly's know. the sickest, lad. She's the sickest, fucking sickest cat ever, you know. She, uh, I, I, like, See, I'll, that's another one. She's a proper blue proper nose. blue, yeah. But gets be, she, she gets behind she's her because she understands. She's getting me fucking lyrics tattooed on it. Do you know what I mean? She's getting my lyrics tattooed I on it. I think she's doing that. This week. Tomorrow. 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 Wednesday or Thursday morning, 9 a.m. Yeah. Because lad, we, when I was out with her on Sunday, when we was out, a fella come over to us. Was mad lad. He just come over because she's already been talking about getting that tattoo. Yeah. And then a, a tattoo artist come over to us, give us his card, went put put it in my pocket, give Molly one, and Molly was like, "Me planning on getting a tattoo the next few days." And he was like, "Well, you're coming to me now, aren't you?" I don't know. I mean, I think she's booked it in with him because he was like, just like, "Fair play, lad. Fair play to him as well." Yeah. The opportunity. You just know what seizing mean? that opportunity. Yeah. Boom, took it right in. Just knows. Yeah. That's why you should always have a card because like. Even yesterday, I was fucking driving out of our state and I seen some fella well, in a car. And I don't really get my car valid to do what I mean, but I just said, hey, lad, you got a card? Just in case, because I know he comes local and fuck, if, you know yeah. what I mean? If it was in that much of a shit tip and I had to pick someone up, I'd get it sorted. But like, he had cards, you know, imagine I'd said, you got a card? And he was like, oh no, take me number. I'm like, ah, oh, mate, I've got to go, do you know what I mean? Sort of thing. Like nine times out of ten, nowadays, people will just say back, get the Insta up, lad. Yeah, it's true, That, true, that true. is what it is nowadays, it you know, is lad. True. People don't even want to pay to get them little cards printed, I know, lad. I know. Give us a look. Let me oh, see let's yours, see lad. Them, let's lad. see yours. The, the LPS. Have you ever seen American Psycho? Yep. Where they talk about the... Yeah, they're fucking sound, them. Yeah. Like, LPS all over it. See, I just knew it. Yeah. yeah the, lad, he'll cut someone with one of them. I like, Give I'm, someone a Chelsea Grimm with one of them. Yeah. I'm, one, one of them. I'm going to go all American Psycho now and say how much I like the grooves and the writing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, into the paper and all that. <laughs> Have you seen it where they're doing all it? It's fucking bad. Have you seen American Psycho? Yeah. Do you fucking all <laughs> No, what? I'll be honest, lad. I haven't watched it since I was about 12. Ah, uh, it just makes me laugh so much because he's made up with his card. He thinks his card's the best. They're all like proper high flying yuppies or fucking cokeheads and that. And like one of them's a psychopath who kills people. But <laughs> they're all sat there at the table and they're all like, ah, oh, they're at this big business meeting and all everyone's asked about is who's got the best card. business card. And this lad's like, yeah, no one's. He's talking to himself through and he's like, no one's got my card. And then this fella comes in. And whips out his card, and it's better than his. And he's like, and he murders him <laughs> because he had a better, yeah, with an axe because he had a better yeah, business. I can card. remember that bit. You know what I mean? So, lad, lad, your lad, business I'm... card's better than mine, lad. You better watch your fucking, <laughs> you better watch your step when I you get out of here. I, lad, I can remember watching that when I was about twelve, lad. I've watched some stupid films as a young kid. Me, like, yeah. like I can yeah, remember but... watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. Yeah, lad. when I was about eight on it's part Channel of the Four, though, isn't it? but lad. Lad, when I, shh, lad, that's to, <laughs> till about a year ago. I'd, when anyone used to ask me, what's the scariest film you've ever seen? I used to say the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. Lad, I watched it a year ago. It is one of the shittest films you have ever seen. Lad, me bear, me bear hates horror films. And me, at the end, like, there's a scene at the end where, lad, this woman's, like, running for about seven minutes. Yeah, screaming, yeah. Screaming, running, running through house. bushes. Yeah, lad, yeah. me bear, <laughs> this is when me bear turned to me and went, I can't wait for her to just get killed. She's doing me head. <laughs> that is how annoying the film got. Yeah. But like, when I was a kid, I was petrified watching it. The other week, like about last year, I watched it with Laura and literally she was turning to me going, have we really got this on? Like, this is shit. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, good old like, fucking Lord. Lord, Yeah. <laughs> and it, lad, it just made me think again, no Jeepers Creepers, lad. Remember the film Jeepers Creepers? Yeah, lad, I do. Jeepers Creepers too. Yeah, because lad, Jeepers yeah. Creepers, until you found out what it was, it was scary as yeah, fuck. Yeah, scary as fuck. And lad, I can remember... What Chris, was it in the end, lad? I'm seeing that. that stupid stupid was... flying creature, lad. Yeah, yeah, lad, I'm <laughs> seeing that. If he would have made it like it was fucking something that could actually happen, yeah. people would have been loving it. Yeah, but, yeah. Lad, it ended up being this big flying thing anyway, but I can remember watching it on Christmas night. Everyone comes to us on Christmas and me, my uncle John and my brother Luke, Lad, I swear, I was about six, seven. I put it on in Luke's room, pitch black, us three sitting on the bed watching it. And lad, he paused it like halfway through and they went for a piss. And lad, I can remember going, because the, 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 the thing, yo, was dark, the, the landing. I was like, Luke, you come to the toilet with me. <laughs> lad, I swear, <laughs> proper shit <laughs> myself, lad. Yeah. We watched, we, I remember watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre on like Halloween or fucking bombing night or something. And like, we were about fucking 11 or 12 or something. Me, my sister, I think our crate was about four, so we wouldn't have been there. But fucking, you know, like a few of my cousins and that, you know what yeah. I mean? A couple of my mates and remember she, myself at certain points of it, but I can't remember it was the fair. Then ended up being about 10 of them Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, they did. Well, that one, that, that one, the original one was the 70s, lad. 
That's why yeah, it was like yeah. a, a shock. On I one. know which one it was. I know which one that was. Yeah. Was scary at the time. Yeah, lad, at not the time, like, lad, was just very myself. scary, lad. But all the horror films now are shite. <laughs> they are, lad. <laughs> they are, lad. Just... Most films now are shite. Yeah. You know Except I, mean? I Am Legend, which turned out to be fucking real, didn't it, about the pandemic? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You know, it turned into lad, fucking No zombie. one else I've noticed is proper shite and you're the perfect person to speak about it with. Lad, songs nowadays. Oh, lad. Lad, they're just old songs. Or old beats or old lyrics changed a bit. Like everyone gets lazy, lads. Like on this, uh, I, I'm hardly ever listen to the radio, as you know. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, drive. Yeah. I don't drive. So nowadays, when I'm in the car, like obviously the last four weeks, I haven't been riding the gym every day. I've only been going every now and then. So when I'm in the car, I'm in bed all the time, lad. Like that one that's proper stuck in my head is remember the song years ago, Alone Dance. Dun, 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 dun. Lad, someone's made a new version of that with lyrics on it, and I'm just like. Yeah. Where's all the creativeness gone? Why aren't people making new songs? That's what all, is going on? That's all he do. Every, like, it's the same with films now as well, though. They're just remakes. The same story. Yeah, yeah, remakes and, like, changes of stories, all old films, yeah. like, made again. Like, that, it, everything's just getting recycled. Like, every, rob every robbery programme is, like, Ocean's Eleven, isn't it? Yeah. It's the same <laughs> Every thing. heist yeah, film yeah. is just Ocean's yeah, Eleven. It's, we'll, we'll fucking stake it out for a few months. We'll have a few near misses. We'll have a heavy plan. Yeah. We'll write it the all plan, down. The plan will go to the fuck. The plan will go to fuck. And then we'll fucking re resurrect a new plan mid <laughs> mid mid siege. Yeah, yeah. And then fucking we'll, we'll all be And it was all planned anyway. Yeah. We all knew that was going to yeah. happen and the second plan was going to come in. The best things I think now to watch are like, sort of like, not reality TV, but like doc, you know, like films about people who were real. It's so, you know, yeah. like Black Mass about white yeah, people yeah, yeah, yeah. and shit like that. And like the Irishman and all that sort. Not just, did you like the Irishman? No, though? it was a bit too long. But no, like films shy, of that nature about real people, not just about fucking gangsters. Yeah. You know, like even what's that? You know, Shawshank, obviously one of the best yeah. films of all fucking time. But like things that have stories like that in it that like correspond to like could or could not be real. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's like it's they're the best things for me now. And like your, your serieses, but again, they don't even make the know, serieses said, like the, No, the serieses don't get made like they used to now. Like they Sopranos and The Wire. The Wire, yeah. The Wire is fucking unbelievable. Fucking hell. Shame about Omar as well, isn't it? I did, know he's. Did you see what the Baltimore Ravens done? Nah. So they fucking had like, I think it was an American football game the other day. And they done like a big fucking mosaic of Omar. And there's whistle. Remember his whistle he used yeah. to do? As he was coming, that oh my coming, oh my coming, oh my coming, yo! Yeah. And he, he, he played the whistle, <laughs> and everyone that. was like, "Fucking!" It was like I a hope tribute he won. to him. Did he win I don't that know, lad. I, 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 I wouldn't know. Even if I looked at the scoreline well, in that, I wouldn't know. Someone I know has watched the. Have you seen the way they brought the Sopranos film out? Yeah, so I've heard I mixed reviews, it and I've, heard, I've been told it's shite. I've been told it was fucking bosh, and then I've been told it was shite. I've been told, told it was told... basically like a long-winded episode. Yeah, it's like an episode of Sopranos, but he just like dragged it out. Yeah, yeah. I got told it was boss, I got told it was shite, and then I got told it's all right, it's just nice to see some of the characters again. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But apparently, like, Paul, he's only in it, like, three times. It's all about Chris's dad, you know, Dickie, yeah, yeah, Dickie so, Multisanti. Yeah, yeah. It's about him in it, really, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but, it's about his dad and Tony's dad, isn't it? Is it? Do you yeah. see Tony's dad in it? I think it, you see Tony's dad in it, yeah. Yeah, and you see Tony once as a kid or something, yeah, don't you? Tony's son plays him, doesn't he? Real son? Yeah, Tony's but, real, James Gandolfini's real oh, son. Oh, James Gandolfini's son, yeah. yeah. That's sick. That's a nice touch. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. a belter. It's a shame about him because they would have imagine another they could have they could have yeah, done. They could have done something. They could have done a real but sopranos like, about at now. At the end of it. But they could have made like, up what, what I don't want to, anyone who's not watched the Sopranos, like pause it now or for or it. skip a minute or something. Mute it. Because lad, what did you think happened at the end? My my the way I like to fucking see it, because I've read a few things about like I and, have, I've read And a few people things. are like, he got shot. Yeah, because it went like, black. Yeah. That's what happens when you die. But, but then the director's come out, hasn't he? And he said that, like, he basically left it open. Yeah, to your interpretation. To your, to your own interpretation. Yeah. So if we're going to go with my interpretation of what I wanted to happen was that obviously he didn't get killed in the restaurant. Yeah, he's you know sitting what I mean? there having a nice he's grand, with his, grand with his family. The next day, his door goes through. And he gets indicted because that fella was going to grass on him, where he Carlo. Yeah, he's yeah. going to be a grass, and he didn't know where he was. That last meeting that he has, where they they popped the affiliate yeah, yeah. it's all recorded, isn't it? The yeah, someone in there with the wire, so they, you know that because they're ins insinuating murder. Yeah, you know that they're going to get, get indicted. He, his door's going to go through, and he was going to be locked up without bail until the court case. Do you know what I mean? Like I interpret it the other way, me. Like 
especially lad, it's it's all the reverse and lad with your fucking what's a face. The doors is reversing outside, trying yeah. to get in the spec, lad. You're like, get in the fucking spec. Yeah, yeah. And then the music's on. And then, lad, it's just the way that he keeps looking at that fella, doesn't he? Yeah, in there. so you think he got killed. Yeah, so I think I, I, it's just the way it goes black and nothing else happens. Know yeah, what I, mean? I mean, don't get me wrong, it is plausible. It's very, very possible. But I just couldn't come to terms with Tony getting popped. See, I'd rather. Because he's fought away so much. Yeah, I'd rather it end like the Sopranos did. And then, like, Game of Thrones did. Game of Thrones fucking I know. Bar, lad. Do you know what? Like, I was proper invested in that. I, well, lad, you don't understand. I watched Game of Thrones. I've I've watched season one to five or one to six about f- six times over. I think I've watched it three myself, but... Lad, not... I've watched... Like, because my bird never watched it at first, lad. So, like, I watched it on my own. Then I watched it with my bird. Then I watched it with Ellis. Then I watched it with someone else. Then watched it again on my own. Know what I mean? Like... I proper got invested into it. I'm gutted. I'm proper and like, gutted, lad, how it ended. The thing that makes it even more annoying for me now, though, is the two writers, they, they rushed it, didn't they, to do Star Wars? Yeah. And then got legged off Star Wars, didn't even do Star Wars. So they rushed it for no <sighs> oh, reason. Marcus. I heard the, 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 the fella who... Who's the fella who wrote the, fel- the fella who wrote the book said they could have done another five seasons. Did he, yeah? Because yeah. I, heard, I heard the rumour that he was going a bit mad. So they only had a bit of, like... A bit of time before he was going to go... That's the, I know his name. It's trying to do me head in. Fire and Ice. Who wrote Fire and Ice? George R.R. Martin. That's it, it there, George. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Come to me. It come to me. I knew it. Is it Game of Thrones? That That's where they, they took... Game of Thrones makes me George R.R. Martin, but they took it from the book, didn't they? Fire and yeah, Ice. Yeah, yeah. It is defo him, like George R.R. Martin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. David Benioff and George R.R. Martin. Yeah. There you go, yeah. But like everyone says to me, you know, you want to read it. Like everyone's yeah. told me. I just, everyone says to me, you should read it because the detail in it is so much better. Yeah, but like the only e- thing is... The only thing now, if we read it, when like a character's name gets said, say it's Aya, you yeah. think of Aya. Yeah, yeah, you know that's... I mean? You, 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 you can't have your own imagination with it now because you've got them characters, what they look like in your head. Exactly, Off the exactly. top of your head. And, and like, the thing is with me, like, and yourself, obviously, when I'm fucking busy all day doing whatever... Like, when it comes... To, I don't watch telly. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't I'm watch telly. Because I'm fucking... On me laptop doing whatever, writing, recording, pracking, or, what, you know, meeting fucking podcasts or whatever, yeah. whatever whatever it is you do. Do you know what I mean? And then, like, I like to come home and, like, when I have my tea and that, I like listening to tunes. Do you know what I mean? And then the only time I really get to do read or whatever is when I get in my bed. And I just want to fucking put the telly on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? For for, for 20 minutes, just to admit, because that's the only thing that, like, my man, I'm one of those people who, like, if I've got stuff going on and I've always got stuff going on, I fucking, like, I, yeah. I, I think You're about... You're in your head, don't yeah, you? Yeah, all do. the time, and like, I can't no, sleep. When, that's what I do. No, when I, I turn the telly off sometimes and I lie there, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to sleep. And then, lad, as I'm lying there, one thing just pops in my head and then... It opens a fucking spider's web of all other things, and I just keep thinking and thinking. In the end, I go off oh, fucking. Turn Put the telly back on. I need the telly. I need the telly, telly on to make me fall yeah, asleep. Dream, sometimes, man. sometimes I don't, but sometimes I do, lad. Yeah, if I'm proper fucking wiped out, you know what I mean. Like obviously, sometimes you just like hit the pillow, don't you? And yeah, you're gone. you do. Saying that you can keep fucking anywhere. Lad. I don't know what it's. It's not. I'm not as good lately. Uh, you lad, know, uh, lad. Talking about that train to Munich before, I've got a picture on my phone of you a Kip on it. I've got a, I've got a few pictures on my phone of you a Kip over a certain period, actually. Like, like on, on the way home on the way home from Vegas the other week, like the flight from Atlanta, I tried to sleep, lad. I think it's just flights now. Yeah, I can't, just flights. Because the other day, lad, I have to tell you this one, I was on the train the other day going to London, fucking, and I, f- I fell asleep from my head against the thing because it was the quarter eight train, lad. So I was like, yeah, I'll have, I'll have a nice Kip on that. I'd been woke up when I got to London. I was in a two seat and there was a four there. Woke up and looked left and went, Is that Jan Moby? Like, it's fucking Jan Moby. <laughs> lad, Jan Moby was sat there. He's sound, Jan. Lad, he? proper sound. Yeah, I had a little chat with him after it. He's proper sound, lad. Um, and he was like, he turned to me and went, Oh, are you awake now? <laughs> no, really, yeah, really. Yeah. That, that, that made me think I was defo snoring. Because you know what I'm like. Oh, lad, I've kept in the room and getting in Munich. Just yeah, sitting there lad. snoring my head off, lad. Defo on the train must have had all people looking at me. I've heard Laura moan about that a few times as well. Laura, Laura moans about anything. <laughs> anything, lad. Anything she can fucking moan about, lad. She loves a good moan. She can't help herself. To be fair, I love a moan. I do. I'm terrible, lad. Should ask all the lads. The older ask, I'm getting, I'm. Les. Ask Ellis and Adam and that lad in the gym, lad and Paul. Traffic's like, my favourite thing to moan about now. 
get it all off my chest, you know what I mean? I'd, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a passenger seat driver, me, even though I can't drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Laura, lad. I can't even drive, lad, and I'm in the past. No, go do, do this, do that, do that. No, no. And if not, I'm just sitting there on my phone. Oh, speaking of, I, had a, I fucking scraped all my car yesterday. No, oh, don't get me started on scraping cars, lad. Me, uh, I don't know if I told you this one. This, this, this is a good one for the pod. Like, people are going to laugh at this. But the other week when a car, she sold a car. We needed a car. Well, all my visas she had sold it about. Did she sell a car, did she? Yeah? yeah, she had to sell that car. And then we were trying to get a new one sorted because oh. obviously where that happened with my visa <laughs> and I couldn't fly with them on the Sunday, I had to make my own way to Heathrow on the Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. So we had never had a car. So Laura, my s and coach and my nutritionist, Paul Reed, Laura's, lent, we've lent, he's lent us a Vito, his Vito Van Auto, Belter. Fuck Laura, that's a driver Vito. Laura drove it, lad, <laughs> all sound, smooth sailing, flew all the way to Heathrow. Ian Dean wasn't there yet with my passport to meet me with my passport. So we pulled up at the last services before Heathrow. Lad, <laughs> pull in. There's a space there, but two cars next to it. I went, there's loads of spaces down there. Go down there. Jump. No, I'll get in here. Laura, there's loads of space. No, what? What? I'll get in here. You can't tell them sometimes, can no, you? No, like? exactly, lad. She's used to having a car. This is a fucking Vito van. So she goes, <laughs> she goes, comes in, and you just feel it touch the car next to us. And we're like, I'm like, Laura, you're just going to have to drive through. Just go. And she's like, ah, car, ah, screaming at me. I was like, go on, you just do whatever then. You just do whatever. So she's pulled it through and lad, there wasn't even a mark on the other car because where the Vito had touched it, it was on the fella's back. No, it was brake light. Mm. It was on his brake light, so it never marked his car at mm. all. Lad looked at the side of Paul Reed's van and was like, oh my God. Oh my God, <laughs> lad. I was on me, I was about, I was, I couldn't eat nothing. I was about to get dropped off in 20 minutes by her to go to get on a fucking 12 hour flight oh, or whatever it was. And lad, we were going in to get her a coffee and she's moved the car park somewhere else and her head was gone proper gone lad <laughs> nearly crying but I'm fuming no only yeah, me yeah yeah I can only imagine lad, I can Paul's imagine lent that you van to, to us the you. van to, to get there so like I've looked at, and she's went she said so, and I went well you didn't have to fucking try and get in that space did you I told you to go down there why can't you just listen oh, I'm going back in the car uh, so I got the lad I had to stand in there fuming and get her a flat white lad at the Mackey <laughs> some kid asking me for a picture and I'm like that yeah man come on yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Got back in the car. Oh, lad. Rang Paul Reed. My head was gone. I was like, Paul, I'm so sorry, blah, blah. My bird's sitting in the passenger seat, crying her eyes out. He's like, Pad, don't worry. It's just a bit of metal. Like, yeah. use it okay. That's all that matters. That's what my bird said to me. That's, last yeah, night. that's what he, that's what, and then I spoke to my dad. My dad said the same thing. He was like, Patrick, as long as you and Laura are fine, it doesn't matter. Yeah. That's metal. You know what I mean? And like, give Paul Reed his due. Paul Reed is the man, lad. He didn't, didn't even like, show any concern like about the car he was yeah, asked about me sure he was like right. he was like pad i just want you to get to america safe and go and win this fight make sure you're all right with your girlfriend before well, your fiance before you just leave yeah you don't want to leave we got to leave from when i was sitting there like yeah yeah, know what yeah. I mean? you can't do it lad you've got to you've got to sort that shit especially off. before i was going there so obviously it, <sighs> but i've said to her from now on if i ever tell you to get to in park a in different that fucking parking thing. space park in that fucking you thing. are getting in that parking space end of yeah. like and she, she's 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 half gonna start listening now like i reckon she will lad you know what she's a fucking good girl oh, we're, have, we're having a nightmare with cars the minute like then she's bought a new one when i was in Ve uh, vegas and the engine light come on on it the other day going to alton towers oh. like lad uh, uh, does oh, this yeah, happen yeah, to right. anyone else no it doesn't so then we had to take the car back to isle of clark and they've had to give us their demo car as a kt car because that's been sent back to volkswagen fucking hell I mean, I my I had an R Folky and it blew up with with a uh, on the way to see Rachel's cousins in London and like Rachel was crying because it was freezing. And we had to stand. We blew up though, hundred yards from the service. All I wanted to do was make the service, but because it was down a slip road and it was pitch black, we couldn't even fucking walk to the service. So we had to wait. Your mess. An hour and a half up a fucking embankment in the freezing cold wind and rain, pitch black December weather, because. It was unsafe to walk on like fucking 200 yards to the service because it was along the slip road of a motorway and down a hill. And Rach was fucking shitting herself, do you know what I mean? I was fucking screaming then. It was like booting the car yeah, outside lad, the road. Lord, to be honest, lad, Laura probably would have fronted that. Laura would have been like, what, we've got to get down there? Come on. Yeah, so that's nah. what she's like, lad. 
Nah. I was saying, I just fucking do it, but then again, I had to wait for the fucking the, for them the to come back to, anyway to, to get cart, told. So then that, I'd yeah. have to walk back up. So <laughs> it was a fucking nightmare, but uh, that actually fucking taught me a lesson to stop buying because uh, I was just a, I, when I was still half sparking, so I used to just buy shit cars to throw me tools in, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And get them done up by mates and that, like little jo- odd jobs. You know what I mean? Buy a car for nine so no sort of like that and just rag it round. No, what other way you was in here waiting? I'm not gonna lie, you've just made it remember him yet. Lad, I was looking for the folky then, you know. For my yeah. lad, no, what I was said, I was sitting outside waiting for your car to pull up. Lad, I was looking for the folky. The R one? Yeah. Yeah. The, the blue one. The bluish the one. Bluish one. That's, yeah, why, the silver. that's why I was sitting outside I was thinking, oh, this car's not here. Yeah, this car's yeah, not here. The one with the petty cat missing, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I've got another great folky now with a big fucking scraping thin down the side of it, which is fucking Panel oh, damage that it happens. Yeah. It lads. happens. We've all been there. Yeah, but nah, it's been fucking cars are just a nightmare, lads. Do you know what I See, mean? See, that's a good thing about me not driving. I'm half them cars are expensive, lad. And all the shit that you've got to do to go with it. And then lad, look at what's happening in the world now, lad. Everyone's having Satan as a petty stations over petrol, lad. What is going on in the world? Serious. Petty is that lad? been happening? I see I got sent a video yesterday. Did you get it sent it? Two, two it was like two dads and two lads. And like the end of the fight fighting with each other and then at the end they go like oh yeah leave it lad fucking you're just watching like what the fuck's going what's on what's going here? on that's the government do fucking scaring people I know it is as they're getting deliveries them, every night for the few for anyone who's, who's like get, you know what I mean just go to the Asda's because they get deliveries every fucking 24 hours for fuel they might limit you to 30 quid or something for now but just get on with it or just you know what if it doesn't cut you off at 30 quid just pretend you didn't see the fucking sign and yeah, just fill your like car up you know what I mean you, you put the fuel in the car so they're not going to say oh no you need to suck 30 quid to it back out your car you know <laughs> I mean, I just seen fucking a, do it. I seen something the other day myself. I had a woman who works in Asda putting up. Um, we had like something daft. I had like 30,000 litres of petrol today. And because the news put that up, we have now got none. You know what I mean? And it's just stupid, lad. Why would yeah. you even t- say that to people? Everyone knows that. The lorry's getting in and are struggling at the minute because of Brexit. Yeah. You, something that you're all fucking voted for. Yeah, that you're all voted for. You can't get divvies. You're all voted for. Fuck off. For it. Yeah, I fucking hate you as well. Yeah. Lad, that Brexit, yeah. lad. Just yeah. a stupid racist vote, lad. That's yeah, that was. Yeah. Yeah, we just, they just played on the people who fucking, who weren't sure about all this immigration shit. Just sorry, sorry propaganda. Yeah. Again, you know what I mean? But, um, lad, that's something I can't wait, you know, can't wait to have my next fight because I reckon it's going to be in England. I reckon my next fight, they'll, they'll do a show in England. Probably London, if not Manny. And I can't wait to just grab the mic and start singing. Maggie's in the mud, in the mud. <laughs> Maggie's in the mud. Yeah. Na, 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 na. And lad, everyone <laughs> goes sick. Yo, the funny thing, I was just going to say, your management might tell you not to do that, but I felt like saying, who the fuck has ever succeeded about telling you to do something? I know. Do. <laughs> it just so, comes out, lad. So for anyone who's watching this now, that... Because I know him. That's probably going to fucking happen. Do you know what I mean? Everything he's ever told me that he was going to do after a fight, before a fight, leading up to a fight, he's done. So, yeah, I'll be singing along. Like, you know yeah, I mean? therefore, Obviously. we'll all be singing along. Little Justice for the 97. Then start singing Maggie's in the mud and start going sick. Everyone just like, throw your pints everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll have a fucking party because you yeah. just <laughs> knock some kid out as well. You know oh, I mean? lad, I can't wait for this next one, like, to be honest. I think the fucking whole... UFC world and the whole of Liverpool lad is waiting for your next one lad everyone's fucking just being bossed to fucking I just can all see it at the minute though I'm a fat cunt so I've got no chance of that just at, at, at this second I've got a lad I've, it's going to take me a good few weeks to make weight like good few need on a proper diet yeah you'll As get there though lad. Before, lad that's what I was going to say before lad I went for the scram with Maz and that last week Maz and Josh and that and Sam and lad should have seen in Mount Hyatt lad like, lad, I went to Luban with you the fucking day after oh, you've yeah, been on a diet. I've seen, lad, you had three portions of salt and pepper squid because no one else liked it, lad. Was it, lad? Everyone <laughs> else was full. That's why everyone liked yeah. it. But everyone else was full and was trying to yeah. save themselves for the next bit. And I was yeah. like, come on, it's got to get it. Yeah. I was saving myself with the lobster, to be fair. But I it. actually made myself be physically sick last week, though, lad. Like, so you could eat more? No. Just, like, just... I ate that much. <laughs> like, lad, we ate all sorts in there, lad. Start. I ended up ordering three main meals. And that was after pure starters, and then I got a dessert. So like after it, we walked out. We got a picture anyone, outside. Anyone else would be surprised, lad? But I've seen it, lad. And lad, as we walked out from like the gusto to walk towards L one, you know where the big gates are, the big gates on the docks, lad. I literally, it's no one. You go to burp. I went to try and force a burp. No, not even that. I never burped. The burp wouldn't come out. 
So where I just kept doing that, I just kept putting pure wind in my stomach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went, I just got a big bit of water in my mouth. Maz went, oh, you know all right? I went, I think I'm going to spew. He went, what? I was like, lad, no, not messing. I think I'm going to spew. Because I'd only had like three pints. Yeah, yeah. I buy them gates on the docks, just had to walk over to the gates and go, yeah. I just felt sound as soon as it spewed. Yeah, just one of them. Anyway. As soon as it spewed, I went, sound, knock him out, let's go. Yeah. And we walked to that gin distillery. Nice, nice. Good lad, Maz, isn't he? Oh, Maz is the boy, lad. Yeah, good The boy, lad. lad. Yeah. Lad, this fucking Zal fella owns the building next door, lad, which is even funnier, lad. Does he, yeah? Yeah, lad. Fucking Big hell. Sevy Mare, man. Absolute legend. Big Sev. What a guy. But um, lad, before like we end up wrapping it up, I wanted to talk about your next album. It's right, lad. Yeah, lad, so... Yeah, you know, just I've sat up now, lad. Yeah. This is, this is about me. Nah, I'm only missing. Eh... Uh, Fucking my next album, it's called Moments. It's fucking, it's all being written during, well, since the first album, yeah, you know so what I mean? So basically during, during lockdown. the pandemic yeah. and everything, yeah. So, but don't, it's not a fucking, it's an uplifting album, you know what I mean? It's just it's stories about real life again. It's stories about parts of the pandemic through the eyes of young and old people. And obviously, as always, there's going to be fucking slander towards the government. Yeah, of course, that's saying. Uh, obviously, and then there's like, there's a little song about my bed in there, but it's honestly like, I'm not, I'm not normally one to talk like this about my own stuff, but it's literally the best fucking thing I've ever produced. Do you know what I mean? Well, lad, if it's better than your first album, it's going to be a fucking chart, chart topper. I think it is, do you know what I mean? But speaking of chart topping to anyone who's watching this, do you know what I mean? If you think I'm a likeable lad and you think, you know what, or you like my music and you think, oh, I might like his music, give it a listen and please fucking pre-order the album because... Like, I'm on an independent label. Like, people are on major record labels from down in London, like Sony and Universal and that, and they get fucking hundreds of thousands of quids chucked at these albums. I'm trying to do it through fan power and just through being myself and getting people to fucking like me and listen. Obviously, we've recorded... I've got a record label who are fucking great with me, but we don't have massive... Massive, massive fun massive like commercial a lot of reach. You can't just got. get put on fucking billboards all over the country or... Do you know what I mean? I can't... Do we, we can't pay 10 grand to a radio plugger to get me on Radio 1 or anything like that. We just... We can't we can't yeah. do it because there's no guarantee that we're going to make it back. Well, a lot of shows how good you actually are that you haven't had none of that in the past and... The amount of people know well, you as it is. It was down to the fan power, it's down to me fans. You've been fucking amazing for me. So if anyone's watching it and you're a new fan or you're an old fan and you just didn't quite know the new album's available to pre-order, you know what I mean? You've only got to look on me socials and you'll find something that'll take you there, do you know what I mean? And everyone matters, even if you think, oh, it's not out till January because it is out at the end of January. But these pre-orders fucking matter more than anything. And if, you know, if you think I'm a sound kid and you think, you know what, is right. Nice to see a scout are doing well. Nice to, you know, nice to see a normal person doing well. I'm going to support them. That's the best way to support me. Come down to the gigs and come, you know, get get the album pre-ordered and just fucking tell your mate to buy me as well. Do you know what I mean? That's the biggest well, thing. Lad, you, you just blew me away there, lad, by saying this second album could be better than your first because, lad, that first album's heavy. Do you know like, what? I was fucking buzzing with it. The way everyone took to it, lads. It was just, it was, it was. That album was mainly for the people of fucking Liverpool. Know what proper you know what I mean? got me, lad. I'll never forget it. No, when we won the league. Yeah, and the displaced and put, thing. they put that on. I was sitting in ours crying. Lads, I was in the half. I was sitting in ours crying my eyes out. Like, oh my God, this is unbelievable. This no, is unbelievable. it was. It was. Oh, what I mean? And again, the support I've had from people like yourself and just everyone in the city and outside the city, you show me the support. It's, you, we, we both know through the industries that we're in, you, you know, People are only look at you once you've got a certain level of support. Yeah, to do people, that. Some... people take you seriously based on what support you've got and... My support off, off me fans. Like lad, we've always said the same things, lad. Like, you've always said what you're going to do with your music and I've always said what I'm going to do with me fighting. And yeah. people laugh. People, yeah. people laugh at you at first until yeah. they realise, oh no. He's on it. He's on it. Do you know what I mean? And then they all jump on, lad. And that's yeah. that, That's what's happening. Yeah, and that's it. Just fucking jump on. And I, obviously I'm not without your support and the music's not without your support. But, you know... That's it, lad. That's spot on what you've just said there, because that's why I always say to people, like, I know people go, oh, where you get a picture? I'm like, yeah, obviously. obviously that's that's good, why, because without you, we wouldn't be where they, we are they're now. They're giving us our platform, yeah. fucking everyone's paying attention. That's why fucking, do you know what I mean? Dana White knows. He's got the fucking, the, the new cash cow in the UFC because, knows, because, he's, because he's, seen, he's seen it, you know what I mean? He's seen the support, he's seen how much people have fucking invested in you and I've had that with the first album campaign and I'm not gonna make you, I'm not gonna lie it made me feel fucking on top of the world and yeah, it does, does. doesn't it you know no what I mean feeling like it, and all I'm asking now is that everyone does it again and you know thank you 
if you already have and if you're about to because it, it genuinely it blows your fucking mind when you think of all these people don't you that you don't yeah. know and you've never met before but and, they support and you and they support you and they buy into you and it's, like it's one of the one of the things that I a little quote that I've read ages ago and lad it's so true lad I think it's do you know why people who don't know you support you more than the people who do know you because I have noticed that over the past yeah, yeah. people who are mates with you won't share your shit yeah. random kid who you've never met in your life putting you all over his yeah, Instagram it's because they have a problem it's not like a problem with you but they have a problem the fact that you come from the same place and yeah. you're doing so much better than they are yeah yeah you know what I mean yeah I mean obviously we've got our problem mates who always share all our yeah. stuff and that you know what I mean but yeah there's people who you sort of know like you've probably noticed that over the past year you've had a few Klingons yeah you get Klingons oh, lads you get people who fucking you know I mean? who I... wouldn't, wouldn't have probably give you the time of day beforehand yeah who now even for, yeah like you get all that but do you know what those people and, and the people who, who, who jealousy jealousy is a big part of what uh, of today's society yeah it is I mean? a big part because because of Instagram and everything yeah, else in social media is bad for all that it, like it's great and it's and it's, it's, it's boss terrible. at the same time but as you say yeah it's terrible because obviously social media gives us a bigger platform lets us self promote ourselves stuff like that but then you have idiots on there just making accounts to skip people yeah lad like, you know what I mean and at the end of the day people will like. Because every you always get them no beds because everyone likes something you'll go out of the way not to like something yeah. and put someone down. And I used to like we both. I mean, we won't go too much into it because we've spoke about this a fucking length yeah. anyway. You know what I mean? Because we both had our problems with with shit like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And at first, I used to focus on the one no bed instead of the fucking thousands. Same lad. Same. Of the As you're not lad, you've yeah. seen what I'm like. I've, I've spoke, I used yeah. to be like on my social media. Yeah, like, yeah. One and person we, said anything, I'd, I'd fucking terrorise them. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? And what all we're doing by that is we're bringing light to what they're saying. Exactly. We're giving them we're, we're, like, weight. What, what sort of my paw said to me is, and Graham and that, he managed that, they've all said, like, just think, like, if you blank him, no one's going to see not it. Uns- but when you message him back, he's like to his mates, by the bad, he's just messaged me back there or just had to go back at me there, blah, blah. Yeah, and like, the, the right other, lad. The other thing about it is, I remember I was talking to you about it and someone was giving you shit and I was like, how many followers has he got? Yeah, and you were like about eight hundred. I was like, how many followers have you got? And you were like, yeah, ninety six thousand or something. And I was like, well, lad, by you fucking sharing that, ninety six thousand people are able to see it. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, and and just 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 fuck them off. Graham, Graham, and and Dean always said to me over the past few years, you might be a black belt in jujitsu, but you need to become a black belt in in social media. Yeah, I swear, yeah. lad, they've said to me, and now I think I'm getting there. I'm you know, nearly a brown belt. <laughs> know what I mean? I'm, ne- I'm not a black belt yet. I'm nearly a brown belt. I've stopped fucking... As I said, lad, I've just stopped with the negativity now. Anyone says it in negative, lad, just blank it. Just ignore it. it. Just ignore it, lad. And I, I mean, I, if you can turn it into a joke, then that's always good. You know what I mean? If you yeah. can like have a laugh with it and be like, oh, come on, mate, don't be like that. What's the problem with me? Sort of thing, you know, act as that. Lad, I love it when people are tweeting me pictures of like Chris Griffin and that. Lad, boss. Like stuff like that. People yeah. think I'd take offence to it, but it makes me laugh. Yeah, lads. So stuff like that I enjoy. You know yeah. what I mean? People doing all mad memes, lad, fucking me and yeah, f- yeah. fat bastard and that, lad, like that. Sound. Yeah. I- I'm all day with it. Watch when I'm in shape. Chatting all madness to yeah. you. Lad. It- Twitter's the- Twitter can be bad for it. Like my Instagram's worse, but Twitter, like I end up having arguments with people over hills but on fucking yeah. on Twitter, lad, people on blog accounts, Again, lad, chatting trying shit. To get lad, I don't know, they're just trying to get rise out of you. A and good few of them have had their IP address found, though, haven't they? You little wrongins. <laughs> One lost his job the other week. Did he? Yeah. made up. Good lads. Well, you know what I mean? They, people are going to fucking, you know, you, you use it as a platform to hate. You, you, karma's going to come down and fucking get you somewhere. Yeah, it is, you know 100%, I mean? lad. It so, is. Yeah. I believe in karma, me. Like, karma is a real thing. So, all you cunts. Karma's <laughs> coming for you. I'll coming, as well. coming. Fuck, you've got four middle fingers there yeah. and everything. I will do one like Eminem used to. Do yeah. one <laughs> eight well. mile. Like yeah, yeah. Lad, I watched that before I went to Vegas the other week. Sick Don't know, lad, um, no, lad, no, why I watched it? Did you see that uh, the video with Tuchel at Anfield doing that talking? Yeah, yeah. See where someone had, had edited it and put um, Eminem rapping, doing the rap battle oh, in yeah, it when he's doing that. Know what I mean, lad? So because of that, I went and watched Eight Mile, lad. Oh, I was sitting there laughing my head off. Sick film, sick, man. you know, sick, sick lad. But uh, yeah, we'll um, we'll wrap it up there. But I want to, uh, Jamie, you let everyone know where to find you, lad. Socials, Apple Music, all that stuff. Yeah, fuck. So get on me Spotify, just Jamie Webster. Get on, you know what I mean? Listen to the tunes, stream them. Instagram, I think it's Jamie Webster Official. Twitter, it's Jamie Webster94. Um, 
Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not a miserable cunt. I post some decent shit. I'm always up for the laugh. <laughs> do you know what I mean? If you hate the stories, get on me, Twitter. Uh, yeah, and just just thanks for watching and listening. And obviously, Pad, thank you very much to you, brother. Lad, my pleasure to have you on, lad. I've been saying for ages that I want to get you on, lad, so I'm made up to have you on. Always and if you don't not like the Tories, if you do like the Tories, fucking stop watching. Yeah, fuck yeah. off. You're Another not welcome on this thing, podcast yeah. if you like Tories. Fuck off. Um, <laughs> look, look at the top. England, no. Liverpool, <laughs> fuck the Tories. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to, uh, obviously, again, as always, thank our sponsor for today, Flux Activewear. That, um, by the time this goes out, everything will be live. You'll be able to buy all the Flux Activewear stuff and they've got some brilliant gear, three-quarter zips, T-shirts, jackets. We've got our model just flossing them now. Uh, they've got shorts and everything. So, yeah, this was episode 15 of Chat and Pony with Paddy the Baddy. I will see you again next week, people.